Well, we've made it to the Salton Sea. And as you can see, it's kind of disappearing a little bit. There's not that much of it left. Um, the Royal Enfield 650 Interceptor has been pretty good. You know, given the price point and the sort of lack of amenities, um, it's actually a pretty good ride. It's a good value. There are some things I don't like about it, but by and large, this is a pretty smoking deal. Well, I left the bike up there with the idea that we can cruise over and see what the water looks like. It's actually a pretty long ways though. It's farther than I thought. But obviously, that is a boat jetty right there. And so you can be pretty clear that this water ain't where it used to be. normal soil or mud you'd find on the bottom of the lake or ocean. It's very fine and light and it just kind of crumbles. Just a bunch of decaying seashells or something. Hmm. Usually. Well, we finally arrived at the Salton Sea much shrunken, but it is still here. Some interesting landscape around it. Let's have a, a look around and see what we're in for. Thank these guys over here at uh, Desert Moto Rentals who hooked me up but good with not just the bike which had eight miles on it when I started yesterday uh, but a really great helmet and just an easy way to do this. Uh, this is the sixth bike I've rented in the last 10 months and this is by far the easiest experience. So shout out there. All right, let's get back on the bike.